Okay, so now we're going to work on this problem. The index of refraction for violet light and silica flint glass is 1.66, and that for red light is 1.62. What's the angular dispersion of visible light passing through an equilateral prism A of apex angle 60 degrees if the angle of incidence is 50 degrees? So what they're asking for is the angle that the red and the violet make. So that's why they gave us the index of refraction for red light and for violet light because they want us to find this angle here. So let's first draw out a picture. All right, so I tried to draw a picture and it's given that all the sides of the triangle are 60 degrees. So I just labeled that at the top because we're gonna need that later. The um, theta 1 is the angle of incidence, that's 50 degrees. And um, then I just labeled theta 2, which is what we're going to solve for right now using Snell's Law. Alright, so I get theta 2 to be 27.48. I'm starting off with violet first, we'll come back and do the red light after we finish the whole process for the violet. But basically, I just labeled everything out, I put it all before I um, punched it all in my calculator, and I got 27.48. Now, since theta 2 comes out to be 27.48, this will be the angle here. We can draw another normal line, and if we draw a normal line... Well, we know that these two equal 90 because this is a right triangle. I don't know what I was saying before. Sorry about that. But basically, if we take 90 minus the 27, we get this angle. And then we can solve for this angle as well. So let's do that. Okay, so I took 90 and um, I did 90 minus 27, I got 62.52, and then if you take 180, subtract it by that 62.52, and the given angle of 60 degrees, you get 57.48. Now, since you know this angle, the 57.48, you can subtract that by 90, and you'll get this angle right here. And we can use this angle to get the final angle over here. Okay, so basically what I did is I just labeled this angle as theta 3 and this angle as theta 4. So that's why they're labeled this way. Since we're starting off from the index of refraction of violet, we can just set that equal multiply that by that and then this is go it's coming out of air so the index of refraction is one you take the inverse sine in order to find the theta four so inverse sine of 1.66 times sine 32.52 degrees we get that the um fourth theta is 63.18 now what we have to do is do this all over again for red light all do this and then I'll show you what I did. Okay, so for red light, I repeated the same process. For theta 2, I got 28.22 degrees. And then to find the other side that forms that triangle where we're trying to find um, this angle, I just subtracted 90 by 28.22 degrees. And then I got... 61.78 now to find this side of the triangle i took 180 minus 60 minus the 61.78 that i got from here and i got 58.22 so this is the 58.22 and now we have to find this angle so we just subtract this by 90 and i got theta 3 that's what we're labeling it as 31.78 so now we can use Snell's Law again to find the final angle that's coming out of the prism. 
So I just took Smell's Law, there, that's what I did. And then I got 58.56 degrees. To find the angle of dispersion, you have to take the difference of those two values. So you have to take um, theta 4 for violet light and theta 4 for red light. So 68 point, I mean 63.18 degrees minus 58.56 degrees. My angle of dispersion is 4.62 degrees.